feeling like I need to always be on my shit. I have a really big interview. Let's talk a little bit about my business. I work two part-time jobs. Oh my gosh, guys, you know I'm cat sitting and she just gives so much trouble. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's Monday. Happy Monday. I haven't ever done a work week in the life. I think now in my new like lifestyle situation from Monday to Friday. So I'm going to try and give you guys a realistic look at what my weeks look like or have been looking like. Today I'm working at the cafe. So this is the OOTD. So I'm wearing baggy trousers, loafers, sweatshirt because the cafe has been so cold lately and we can't even change the heat because it's like central heating so we get whatever the building like we're within an apartment building so we get whatever the those people set the temperature to so it's been stressful so hopefully this keeps me warm this isn't even mine i think it's paritas anyways so that's today tomorrow i have a really big interview with a client that i'm hoping i get i think it's very in line with the branding i don't want to put it out there yet because i don't want to speak on things until they happen but i think like i'm perfect for the job like many people sent the post to me because they're like yo like it literally just makes sense and i'm gonna hope that they'll work with me like because they're hiring for their company but i kind of want to have them be working with my agency not me i don't even know if that's possible given my agency is not like a business i don't i have to look into that if i'm gonna be pitching that so that's something i'm gonna be working on i just i have a lot to do for that but thankfully i have tomorrow off so that's good i'm giving you guys like an overview of the week wednesday work i finish work early i'm supposed to be going to volleyball that night but i have so much going on in life like i like volleyball is literally the least of my worries right now i'm going if i have the time thursday oh and tomorrow i'm also supposed to be well i was supposed to go to a networking event but now i have the interview at the time of the networking event so that's not probably gonna happen thursday i don't know friday i don't know saturday i have the day off and we're going out this weekend we'll see what's going on throughout the week but strap in i'm gonna try and vlog properly so that you guys get a good idea because i feel like whenever i work at the cafe many days in a row i get very bad with the vlogging because i'm just like with my time but yeah if you guys are new my name is kiana <sighs> i work part-time as a barista and i am running my own marketing agency and i work another part-time job as like a community manager so my life is kind of busy so that's that what else is in here this top for one of the parties So it's 6 30. i just wrapped up the interview for the social media gig basically i'm interviewing to be the social media manager at this event company they basically run parties yeah so i really hope i get it i think i don't know like sometimes when i go into certain interviews like i know when i'm gonna get something like i i but i don't know for sure if i'm gonna get this i think i'm good for it i think i'm great for it but i it, i don't know if it's mine so fingers crossed um i also feel like i'm I'm just feeling a lot of self-doubt right now in terms of i don't know like i don't feel fully confident yet that i'm i'm where i need to be and i don't think i'm ever gonna feel that way because this whole journey i'm on is just so risky right um but i'm trying to move with confidence with everything like but i think it's just a company that many people would want to work with so they probably have tons of applications and you know i don't know um, anyway, so I'll let you guys know if I get that. So it's going to be a couple of different scenarios. So, Esaquilia, un essentia... Un essentia, ou... Um... <coughs> Dois-je prendre les étages? Or, no, les... Escal es escaliers? Très bien. Um... Non, il y a un ascenseur. Um, c'est, mais je dois t'avertir que c'est très lent et il y a souvent une file d'attente. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm feeling a little fussy right now. Um, when it comes in regards to my business and I kind of wanted to share what's like kind of stressing me out a little bit with you guys Cleo, please get off the counter. Oh my gosh guys, you know I'm cat sitting and she just gives so much trouble Like why? Why are you on the counter? Girl, get off. Come, come, come. 
get on the couch too, to be honest. Okay, sit if you're gonna be on the couch. The funny thing about it is that I actually don't mind when she's on the couch, but her nails are so long right now that she's literally piercing the couch you know and that's just and that's just not good obviously for the culture um anyways let's talk a little bit about my business so i have two solid clients for my business kb media agency well that's the name i have for it right now because i i, I just can't think of a real name that i really want to use but it makes me cringe to be like kb media agency anyways so that's the name of my business at the moment. And I have two solid, consistent clients. One of them actually, and this is problem number one, she's not being that consistent right now. And I've worked with in situations like this in the past where let's say I edit weekly YouTube videos, for example, if somebody isn't consistent, it f***s with my income and that's just not good so i think i need to start having measures in place with like new clients and stuff like that going forward about how to deal with that now with that client it is kind of like it's a it's a like my friend's mom so i'm not as like picky because even then i'm like working with her at a discounted rate like i'm more so you know like i'm helping my friend's mom like that's that's my that's my mom you know what i mean like that's different vibes but just the concept of it like i can't really afford to be working with on a turn on a basis where it kind of depends on if somebody decides that they're going to be consistent with something right that's lesson number one lesson number two again one of my clients is my friend's mom so i'm not talking as much about that situation but i feel like for the work that i'm doing i'm not being paid at a rate that reflects the, my time like the value of my time and the work the value of the work um so basically i'm not like i'm being underpaid in a sense and i remember i took on these jobs because i was like oh it'll help me build my portfolio and there's a lot of value in that and i think the thing about it is that's just not a really good way to live and i don't want to give you guys exact rates but let's just say for example how i would price myself i when i used to work nine to five i think i made i don't even remember but at one point whether i was an intern or in my very first couple of months of working there i think i made about like 28 or 29 dollars an hour right so if i was doing freelance work my freelance work i would probably charge myself at like minimum $25 an hour because how I look on it if my company can pay me $29 an hour and I know minimum wage is like $16 then I'm gonna charge myself like a solid amount because my time per hour at my company is valued high so in general my time is just worth that much so for this client that I'm talking about not my friend's mom I'm not even making minimum wage to be honest and yeah like i said at first i was like oh good for my portfolio i just don't really think it's worth it i don't think it was worth that that the time that i'm putting into this client i don't think working at that price is worth it now i'm on a contract with this client i'm gonna see the project through i still am learning a lot and i'm learning a lot like lessons like this right these are important lessons for me to learn and that's the whole thing right but i just think it's important to share that with you guys because you start to get in this state of like feeling resentful honestly like when you think about just now the time it takes to do things i work a part-time job part-time fully remote so i can work as many hours as i want at any time that i want and when i think about the fact that i'm here right now i'm working on stuff for my client i could be at at this very low rate i could just be deciding i could have just done some work for my part-time job and just made so much money and an even bigger thing about all of this is the funny thing is that and i was listening to a podcast a while ago where the girl was like if you want to be an if you want to make a lot of money quickly entrepreneurship isn't necessarily the path to take like yeah you could be lucky and like everything just works out so well for you but for the most part it's a very slow game it's a slow burn you're slowly getting to that point where you're really making bank and the journey to getting there takes so much. It's you coming through a jam and doing your part and me not even having dinner for you and about to offer you ramen. So I'm dead. Is that what your vlog is about? Oh yeah, so we can watch. <laughs> I was like, I didn't watch it yet. Yeah, good. Tell the vlog hi. Hello. Yeah, we're gonna have. You say no feet fix, bro. They can't see your feet. Hey. How are you? Anyways, 
Um, Preece is here. We're gonna have dinner, but I also already ate dinner, but I was supposed to make a lasagna and I wasn't gonna do that. And then I was gonna make a pasta and I just didn't have the energy to do that. And then I ate ramen. So I have burgers, I have... I have frozen pizza, but it's like a flatbread, so it's fancy. Oh, okay. But I know you're not like a greasy food person, yeah. so I was like, you probably won't want that. And then I have ramen, so I was like, there are three bad options for you to pick from. <laughs> it's giving that time when I brought you here and gave you hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. It's Friday. Hi. Um, see, I just don't do well at vlogging during the week, but next week's vlog is supposed to be good because I got my work schedule from the cafe and they finally kind of lowered my hours, which is nice because I've been working there like five days a week for the past couple days, past couple weeks, and it's exhausting physically, socially, mentally, like it's just a lot to do that job and then do my other side job and then do my business work. Um, and my business work has been taking a hit because of that. So yeah, the I have Monday to Wednesday. I actually have Sunday to Wednesday off, but I consider Sunday as a part of this week. But yeah, I have Sunday to Wednesday off, so I'm gonna be doing a lot for my business and a lot for my other part-time job. And I've actually also made the decision, so I work two part-time jobs, one that's kind of related to what I want to do for myself and then at the cafe, right? I've kind of made the decision that I want to start taking on more hours at the remote part-time job that I have because one, it's just more related to what I want to do it's better for even just my resume and credibility but two i do really need that remote aspect i think the whole going into the cafe one reason one of the main reasons i like working there is because i get to socialize a lot and in that i get to kind of network um with customers that come in and just with people that work there and like you know just get my stuff out there but i do like the fact that the remote work I do like that I get to be more in control of my time and I'm not wasting a lot of time physically being somewhere else, right? So yeah, I think I'm gonna be prioritizing my remote part-time job for the next while and kind of getting my hours at the cafe cut down to three strictly because right now they still have me scheduled for four days a week, but I, Cleo, don't touch that. Yeah, three is gonna be the sweet spot. Anyways. I'm doing some work right now and I'm trying to wrap this up and then send out my time time sheet for the week so I can get paid tonight. And then I am also going running with a friend at six. He's been wanting to get into running. Cleo, so, actually get off the counter. Like you see the thing, she's on the counter, which I don't like, but at least when she's on the counter, she just sits. If I kick her off the counter right now, she's gonna start scratching up the couch. They say get a cat. She leaves on Sunday though, and I'm gonna miss her so much. Aww, you're such a precious little baby. Anyway, so let me get back to work. I just wanted to touch base because I don't know. I feel like I haven't been very on top of the vlog this week, but I'm doing the best I can because you know your girl has to work hard. No, I don't think I could. I just, <laughs> even up to like the end of the story, going. I work because it's so cool. Like, like genuine interest. If you look cute enough, I no, I ordered a burger, bro. Like In the fed. I'm Canadian.
happy sunday i have the day off work so i'm using today as like a rest reset day and it's so hard for me to do that it's actually insane i woke up this morning around 10 because i went out last night and and even that like it's me disclaiming and like trying to make an excuse as to why i woke up late like i'm really trying to stop feeling like I need to always be on my shit and I don't know how to do that so yeah anyways I woke up and I was like okay let's get up let's get working and I'm like Kiana you literally said today was gonna be a day of like rest and relaxation and just like clean the house and like spend time with Cleo and like hang out um and now I'm like trying to find myself something to do and I'm like oh well you can walk to the mall and go return the shorts that you got or you can like you can do these tasks that aren't as grand like work work and just get them out of the way and i'm like kiana can you just relax but no i can't because i don't know how anyway so i've just been still relaxing but i i just paid some bills because i got paid on friday and just set up my budget for february and then i was like all right maybe i should go to a cafe and journal and set some goals and i'm still trying to tell myself kiana like lie down like it's okay to just lay down and the thing about it is like when i just think about okay let's lay down it's like lay down and do what because it's not like i'm tired right so I'm like, okay, lay down and what? Or am I just gonna sit here and scroll? Because if that's the case, then I might as well go outside and do something. Or, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's really hard <laughs> for me. And I feel like even now I'm just thinking, okay, like since I can't rest in this context, how about I go for a run? Because running is like, you know, I like to run. So it's something nice for me to do. And stillness. I saw this, I don't remember if it was a quote or a post or what it was, but it was just talking about how hard it is for a lot of people to just be still. I obviously struggle with this. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know how to just chill the F out. I wish I did. I wish I did. It's like my biggest, it's honestly one of my biggest flaws and it doesn't, it may not sound that serious. Like, it may sound like I'm like trying to be like, oh, I'm always working. I don't know how to rest, but it really is a problem. I think even with sometimes when I see like things my mom goes through, I keep looking on her and I'm like, you need to learn to rest and I just don't want that to be me. I don't want to feel like I don't know how to take things slow and just clear my mind, empty my mind. Anyways, yeah, for the most part today, there's still a couple of things I want to do like in a slow way because um, it's not like I'm, I really expect myself to just sit here and do nothing. But yeah, I'm going to do some laundry. I'm going to play with Cleo a bit because she's literally perched up on my pillow, bro. Can you say see her? Like my girl actually acts like the pillow is her bed. But yeah, I'm going to just clean do some laundry i ate already there's not that much to do yeah maybe edit a little bloggy vlog who knows oh, oh yes oh. plan out my week you know the vibes <laughs>